Hello everyone and welcome to another virtual pet video. In this video I'm going to be starting up two virtual pets and that's for the current hatch which is the animal farm hatch where we have to hatch Digimon with four or more legs. So I've got here my Digimon Pendulum Progress Animal Coliseum version and even though the child level has sort of like it's bipedal but it's kind of they're kind of like all animals Every other evolution from that has uh, four legs or more. So I think I'm going to be aiming for maybe by Humon. I'm not 100%, but I've not actually had much luck with the Pendulum Progress Animal Coliseum version before. And I've only actually ever been to Ultimate twice on all the Pendulum Progresses, and it's only the version 1. So this is the version 3. And I'm also going to be having another go at getting a natural evolution from my Digimon Pendulum version 2.5. So let's start this up. So let's start with the progress first. So it is 8.41, probably 8.42 by the time I get there. Let's go for 8.42. And there's the egg, and now likewise, let's start this again. There we are, so we've got two eggs. The version 2.5 and the version 3 for the progress. And I'm going to shake this egg. I'm not sure. I'm going I'm to shake both of them, but because I'm not sure if the shaking it does anything. I know that if it does do something, it does it for the Pendulum original. But I'm not sure about the Pendulum Progress, but because I don't want anyone to be jealous, I'm going to do it on both of them. I do have the Traded Egg, so for the Pendulum 2.5, that's actually the Traded Egg left behind from Divermon. I know this because as Divermon died, he kind of did the smile and uh, egg pooping that they do, which is always really weird to me. Is this enough? Is this enough shaking? And uh, so yeah, and I believe that boosts your chance of getting a natural evolution slightly as well. Who's hatching? The progress. So there's our little Pubimon, and then there's the the uh, Pitchimon, I think it is. So we'll feed this. So you can really tell that there's like some purple tinge to the Pendulum Progress's screen. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up a guide for the uh, evolution that I need for the Pendulum Progress because, as all the Pendulum Progresses, they need to be trained during certain particular times to determine what Digimon you'll get. I would like to go for Bearmon, I think. I might go Bearmon, Grismon. Not sure about the perfect level, but whoever has uh, four legs on the ground, I'll choose that. As for the Pendulum 2.5, I'll be probably trying for Gomamon, Ikakumon, and Zudomon again. Though Zudomon is kind of on, he's, he's kind of bipedal, but I have seen art of him with two legs on the ground. But primarily, I'm going to be trying to aim for Plesiomon. Because Plesiomon has two hands on the ground, two hands on the ground, two feet on the ground, two feet, not bipedal. Quadpedal? Is that a word? I think so. Anyway, so that's what I'm raising at the moment. As you can tell, I'm not raising the IC and the Axel at the moment. I was kind of tempted to run the Nature Genome Axel for this hatch, but I kind of looked at the roster and there's not that many four-legged friends on the uh, the that or any of the Axels, honestly, which was surprising. Like I was honestly surprised with looking at the rosters for all of Virtual Pets, and there's actually not that many who are actually completely bipedal. And, I mean, there's, like, Metal Gururumon, who I'm raising on my VB for the hatch. And, yeah, there's actually just not that many. And that's because, I guess, if I'm looking at the Chosen Children Digimon, they're all, like, eventually just become bipedal, even if they're not, except for, like, uh, as I said, Metal Gururumon. But, yeah, that's basically it for that video. I have to check what the Tamatown Discord server's running for this hatch. Hopefully something easy, because I've picked a... Uh, Two, di two virtual pets for the Digimon hatch that require me to actually not make care mistakes and actually put some effort in 
So hopefully it's something easy that I can run. Maybe like a mix or something. I don't know. I'll have to see what the Tamatown Hatches uh, theme is for this time. But anyway, so thanks for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.